Welcome to the Suburban Homestead blog and to the Suburban Homestead blog's videos. And so today what we're working on is repurposing some old scrap lumber that we had uh, laying around here and using it to build a cold frame, which is basically a fancy name for a box with a glass top or clear plastic top that would have uh, several inches of depth to it and would be used to start seeds uh, in the winter time so that you'll have seedlings ready to transplant uh, in the early spring. So right now it's uh, the middle of January. Today is January the 13th and it's pretty cold out. It's sunny thankfully but there's a wind and it's pretty cold and I think it's maybe right 41 now. 41 degrees. Okay, 41 degrees. My resident meteorologist here uh, is giving us the cold hard facts. So, um, so it's cold out and it's, you know, in the winter time it's cold, it's wet, it's dreary outside and you just, if you're like me, you probably don't want to be outside, okay? Last thing you want to be doing is working outside in this, but as a gardener, as someone who's running a homestead in the city there's stuff to do all year round and uh, winter time there's not as much work to do for sure but there are things to do in the winter to get ready for the coming growing season and one of those things uh, is getting your seeds started early enough where they can be transplanted at the proper times in the spring and right now in January uh, early to middle January is the time to be starting seeds for the plants like broccoli, uh, cabbages, stuff like that, but also like tomatoes, peppers, uh, some of the more summer season crops that you would be having. So uh, that's what we're working on. Uh, we're going to take the scrap wood and a uh, window panel that we salvaged from a old storm door and we're going to build a little box. I think it's about oh two and a half feet by about almost four feet and uh, it'll be about anywhere from 12 to 18 inches deep. It's going to be slanted like this so that the sun can come through at an angle come through the window and heat up the inside of the cold frame box and that will help hopefully keep the temperatures inside of it warm enough where the seeds can start to germinate over the next few weeks. Anyhow, I've already measured and cut the scrap wood for uh, the frame and we're gonna be drilling some holes, nailing in some nails, screwing in some screws, putting the box together. Uh, that should take maybe another 30 minutes maybe, uh, we, which we worked on cutting the wood and that's taken about 30 minutes too. And so we'll put that all together here in the next couple of minutes and then hopefully get it set out in the sunny part of the yard and get that mulch put around it. So all of this here should cost, I would guess, since it's scrap wood, should cost me pretty much zero. Uh, you know, I'm taking old wood and using it, recycling it. So it's good for the environment and making use of what we've got. That's what it's all about at the Suburban Homestead blog. So uh, let's get to work on putting this cold frame together. So my helper, Mr. J here, who not only is a good meteorologist, he's also a good uh, amateur, good carpenter. Uh, he's gonna be nailing some nails in here to put this two by four, attach it to this piece of plywood and uh, he's, he's a good helper. He's been helping me with uh, cutting, measuring the wood, cutting the wood, drilling the holes, and now nailing the nails into the wood to fasten them together. So, uh, you know, if you have kids and if you're a gardener, suburban homesteader, and you've got kids, be sure and get them involved in it. Help them uh, learn some good skills as well as you're learning and you know, teach them some good valuable life skills and get them in, involved on in the project. That's how the uh, process and legacy of this sort of uh, 
you know, homesteading and gardening is carried on. Okay, so we have the semi-finished product here. Uh, I say semi-finished because I'll probably uh, tweak it a little bit, maybe add some paint to the outside of it to help preserve the wood a little bit better. Uh, maybe add a little bit of felt or uh, maybe um, foam sheathing, edging around the window itself to kind of help insulate the gap. In, uh, Potential gap in between the window frame and the wood but as you can see here here's the window frame and you lift that up and you've got basically a little box here made out of wood and you can see that it's at an angle sloping like I said earlier that way the sunlight can come through and uh, you may notice that down here there's a gap in the wood where it doesn't go all the way to the ground that's because I was using the wood I had I wasn't gonna get real fancy with cutting and making angles and everything like that it's not that big of a deal because like I said what I'll be doing is I'll be piling wood mulch up around the outside of the cold frame and that'll help keep the heat in as well and so there's no real need to have the wood go all the way down. And what I'm thinking about doing actually is taking and measuring the footprint of this and digging down into the ground a couple of inches uh, around it and that way there's a little bit more depth to the box and then I can put a little bit taller pots in that. So anyhow that's basically the finished product and uh, tomorrow I'll be working on putting it in the part of the yard where it's going to be calling its home and getting the mulch piled up around it and hopefully getting some pots together and some seeds in those pots and the good soil and getting those seeds started and ready to go for the spring. So thank you once again for watching the Suburban Homestead blog and hope you learned a little bit about how to get uh, prepared for the spring and getting your seeds started. Thank you so much. Bye.